for Ali McCoy after his five-month absence. And although goalkeeper Ali Maxwell began the game, he had to be replaced by Colin Scott at half-time because of a flu virus. The referee was Robert Orr from Kilbarkin. Commentator as usual, Jerry McNee. So it's the partnership of McCoy and Haitley back together again that uh, get the first ever Premier League meeting between these clubs underway. Rangers, in fact, bridging a 23-year gap. Uh, the last league visit here, way back in the days of the old First Division, was in season 69-70, and they lost by two goals to one. They won't want a repeat of that today. In fact, they were back here in Scottish Cup business a few years ago, 1989, and uh, only managed a 1-1 draw, so it's never been an easy venue for them. And the message from manager Walter Smith is to turn disappointment from midweek into determination. Played forward now by Presley. It's a good one to Ali McCoy. And across comes Sean Dennis to make the challenge. But uh, Rangers getting a tremendous ovation from the supporters when they come onto the field this afternoon. There's Murray trying the shot. It breaks out now to Trevor Stephen. And that's well taken by Scott Thompson. It's, uh, not a bad effort by Trevor Stephen, who has two goals to his credit so far this season. That's row bottom. They get through, but when drifting behind for the goal kick. And not the best of kick outs from Maxwell. This is Presley to Haustra. Good ball from Haustra to Trevor Stephen. McCoy's ahead of him. Hitley's there as well. It's Hitley! And just inches away from Mark Hitley, who has eight goals so far this season. It's a good play by Rangers, good build-up. Uh, Trevor Stephen slotting the ball through. Nice little dummy there by Ali McCoy. And uh, Hitley's first-time effort, not far away. And that's a free kick to Ray Thors. Both of them there, fouled by Trevor Stephen. Quickly taken by Nichol. Little touch on by Harrison to Ali Graham. This is Jason Dare. Sending in the high one. Graham's up there with the header. It's off the bar. Well, terrific play by Ray Thors. Jason Dare sending the high one in. And Ali Graham bought for £120,000 just a couple of weeks ago. Almost... Giving Wraith Rovers a lead. Well, Rangers know they have a game in their hands. This is Durant. This is by Gary Stevens to Trevor Stevens. Played off by McCoy. This is Ferguson. Ball takes a deflection out of play for the throw to Rangers. Taken by Haustra to Murray. It's aimed in at the head of Haitley. Punched away by the goalkeeper, it's Trevor Stephen. Well, certainly plenty of incident in this match so far. Ali Graham coming so close at the other end. And uh, this one here, knocked down by the goalkeeper. And uh, Trevor Stephen following through. And not far away with this one. It's Goff's head up. This is Stephen. It's Haustra wide. Haustra, well challenged by John McStay. John McStay having a good solid match. Certainly a powerful tackle up. And they also picked a powerful shot. Murray's throw, touch from Haitley. Murray's in there again, looking for McCoy. Cross comes Robotham. And the overhead kick gives Rangers the throw in. Quickly taken to Ian Ferguson. Murray, Trevor Stephen. Ferguson, this is good play by Rangers, it's McCoy. And McCoy well challenged there, but the ball spins into the back of the net. 15 minutes gone, and Rangers take the lead, and Ray Rovers can't quite believe it. It seems that Billy McCoy would score. McCoy's turning there. 
and the attempted clearance there coming off Heatherson. It was McStay who cleared the ball come off Heatherson for the own goal. Well, that's a real blow for Wraith Rovers who had been doing so well. Here come Rangers again. It's Ian Ferguson! And it's a corner kick. Well, a tremendous shot by the Rangers midfielder. And the goalkeeper scrambling across. Powerful shot there and a good touch by Scott Thompson. Post round there, but uh, the ball goes way over the way. He plays it forward. That's a free kick against Presley. Carl Andrea, who's probably better to care for. He's succeeded a few free kicks already. And Maxwell is getting his defence organised. It's Jimmy Nicholl, the player manager over the ball. And that's Hayfley back, helping in defence. Well, it's not properly cleared. This is Jason there. Meanwhile, Ali Graham is still on the ground, just on the six-yard line, the Rangers' six-yard line. And the referee will halt the play here to allow some treatment. Well, the players haven't heard them, but uh, the whistle has gone. Well, Ali Graham having to leave the field. The race over to just to 10 men for the moment. As the game restarts. German play by Trevor Stephen for Rangers. But uh, the pass not good enough to Dennis. And the early cross. And so close there for Colin Cameron. And he's taken a knock. And the ball has gone behind for the goal kick. But good play by Jimmy Nicholl. Very determined play indeed. Sending the ball away out to the right. Chasing after it. Hitting the early cross into the near post. And Colin Cameron coming so close. but some untidy defensive play. This is Robotham. Good play by Robotham, driving it through! It's a terrific goal, it's John McStay! 28 minutes, what a goal by Ray Robotham, what a goal by John McStay! There's jubilation among the Ray Robotham fans, well, there's no doubt about it, Ray Robotham deserved that goal. It was terrific play on the left by Jason Robotham. Getting well forward, whipping in the cross. And what a finish here from John McStay. Right into the roof of the net. It's Ray Robert 1, Rangers 1. Given away though to Neil Murray. It's a bad throw that by Ronnie Coyle. This is Trevor Stephen looking for Hayfley in the far side. And the ball goes behind for the goal kick. Well, it was a slight play initially by Ronnie Coyle that allowed Trevor Stephen to step in, get the cross away to the far post. And Hayfley was lurking there as ever with the downward header just past the post. Come Ray Throbbers again. It's Heatherston to Cameron. Spears racing into the middle. And the ball just goes behind Jason Deer. 
again excellent play and more applause from the home fans Heatherston leading by example getting through here he had Cameron running wide to his right and then the cross was whipped in falling just behind Jason Dare throw in two Ray Roberts. Just a minute of injury time has been played in this first half again. The referee checked his watch. Boyle plays a long one forward. So Maxwell hasn't had a lot to do in the first half, but uh, the defenders in front of him have been kept extremely busy. And there goes the halftime whistle. Well, a splendid first half and a terrific first half, particularly by Ray Roberts. And uh, John McStay there, well, he was unlucky after 13 minutes. His attempted clearance came after a shot by Ali McCoy that came off Heatherson for an own goal. But then he responded magnificently after 28 minutes. Great play in the left by Robotham. He whipped in the cross, and there was McStay to send the ball into the roof of the net. The halftime score here, Wraith Rovers 1. So Wraith Rovers start the second half. And they'll be hoping to carry on with the left off for that very impressive first half performance the Rangers trying to get forward the Rangers have uh, made a change in actual fact uh, Colin Scott has come on for Ali Maxwell a change of goalkeeper for Rangers Nickel again, head away by Presley, led off by McCoy to Durant, looking for Hayfley, but that's a good challenge by Sean Dennis. And now Steve Crawford breaking forward, still it's Crawford. Well, Presley was with him all the way, and very close to conceding a penalty kick. That's a great play by Crawford, the tournament play, Presley there. Trying to hold them back, and they must have been coming very close here to conceding a penalty kick. Cleared upfield by Ronnie Coyle. Through to Jason Dare, who's onside. A little bit of space there. Plays it through our late. Uh, Heatherston almost making contact. It's away, though, by Trevor Stephen. Only as far as Nickel. Still the pressure on the range of defence. Plenty of players back, though. Uh, Nicole losing out to Durant. This is Trevor Stephen. Surrounded by Rafe Rovers players. He keeps a cool head, though. He does well. This is Ian Ferguson stabbing it through now to Haustra. He watched by McGeeke. Still, it's Haustra. Good curl in that one. And well taken by Scott Thompson. Well, did a terrific bend in the ball there to Peter Haustra. He did well to control it initially. He got away from McGeeke and brought out the save from Scott Thompson that's better play by Peter Houser Rangers need more of that this afternoon this is Houser for Rangers he's shot with that one up to Trevor Stephen and it's Jimmy Nichols stepping in and Trevor Stephen not at all happy with uh, Peter Houser there remonstrating with the Dutchman this is Stephen and uh, Jason Dare sending the ball out of play for the throw in McCoyce, he's turned by McCoyce, getting away from McGeeke, taking on Sean Dennis, and uh, Dennis doing enough to block him. Well, what a game for Ali McCoyce, come back, finding it mighty tough out there today, but that's better play by him, getting away from McGeeke initially, and Sean Dennis doing enough to block him there. Heatherston trying to get forward. That makes Gary Stevens. Till it's Heatherston. And not a bad effort by the Wraith Rovers captain. Well, determined play by him. And uh, he nutmeg Gary Stevens. Cut in past Richard Goff and let fly. This is Trevor Stephen. Long one for Hayley. Hayley trying to barge his way through. This is Trevor Stephen. 
And the ball goes behind for the goal kick. Well, some determined play by Heathley. And uh, Sean Dennis and Ronnie Coyle both going to meet him. And the ball eventually broke out to Trevor Stephen. He steadied himself there and had the shot at goal. Goff digging in there against Crawford. This is Durant for Rangers. Looking for McCoy. He, he steps in, but uh, Ian Ferguson gets a touch for Rangers. This is Haitley driving a low one in. And it was rope off and clearing. And eventually away by McGeeke. Well, Haitley putting some real pressure on at last on the Wraith Rovers defenders. Driving the ball in low and hard. And it was Robotham who stepped in and then McGeeke who made the clearance. This is Haitley to Durant. Gary Stevens has got a bit of space. The Stevens. The, the offside flag has gone up. Well, Haitley colliding with... Scott Thompson, the offside flag, bad gun up in fact. The tempo's getting a bit frayed. Hitley's head up, looking for McCoy. Well, even if not fully matched, but McCoy still carries a threat, but uh, well policed there. Well, the Wraith Rovers fans in full cry now, and they must take great heart from this performance this afternoon. Twenty seconds left on my watch, plus in injury time. This is Gary Stevens. Can Rangers snatch a dramatic winner? It seemed in it. Haitley McCoy's in there, and that's good handling by Scott Thompson under a lot of pressure. Well, the goalkeeper's taken a knock. But it was Gary Stevens scoring the long one forward. Haitley got the touchdown. McCoy swooped on it. And the goalkeeper came to meet him. Haitley climbing high there, getting a good touch. And then came McCoy. Uh, Scott Thompson came to meet him. Brave goalkeeping, good handling. Return. That would have been for Ali McCoy if he just got there a second earlier. So that's a minute of injury time played. And there goes the final whistle. Well, a terrific performance for Jimmy Nicholl and Wraith Rovers and Walter Smith very sporting there. But he can be well proud of his men this afternoon. A superb performance by the Premier Division newcomers. The final score here at Starts Park, Wraith Rovers 1, Rangers 1.